So, just like our previous core exercises or core workouts, we're going to warm up our core. So, our first one we're going to do is our bird dot. So, I'm going to start off, take the top position, shoulders above the wrist, knee below the hip, opposite limbs coming up. So, let's we'll start with our right arm, left leg. We're going to bring it up, shoulder and hip level, hold for eight seconds. Eight, and we're gonna tap the knee in the middle and extend again. Hold again for eight seconds. And tap. We do eight total reps here. Tap. Tap. Side plank hold. Gonna be on our side, on our elbow, shoulders stacked above the elbow, knees about 90 degrees, knees stacked, feet stacked, hips are stacked, and just raising our hip up. And we're gonna just hold for 30 seconds here. Warm up our side core. Uh, 
gonna be okay. I'm gonna finish up with those curl ups on our back. Hands on, hands on the floor. We're just gonna raise our chin up towards the ceiling, raising our head off the floor. One, two, we'll do 15 reps. Three, four, different equipment for today's workout. So for the first one, I have the Bozu ball. And if you don't have a Bozu, if you have a Met ball, you can use that as well. Something that is not a flat surface that we're gonna use for those mountain climbers. Uh, next up, pair of dumbbells. Doesn't have to be super heavy. Light dumbbells are fine. We're gonna be using those for those reach through crunches, cross body switches, and side plank pull throughs. Next up, I have two different weights for the kettlebells that I'll be using for the imbalanced march. You can also use imbalanced dumbbells as well if you don't have those kettlebells. And the last one. We'll be using a foam roller for those elevator roll-ups. So, just like we did in our previous ones, the first round is going to be all body weight just to get you warmed up on the movements. Uh, except for our imbalanced marches, we'll be doing that one right away with the weights because this is four rounds. We need to balance it out switching those weights two different sides and then we'll do three rounds with those equipment. Uh, each exercise can be 40 seconds or 20 seconds of rest in between and again we're doing the four rounds total and it'll be 90 seconds of rest between each round to rest up. See so, you don't need the equipment yet except for the imbalance marches. So I'll have those kettlebells ready. And we've got the timer, so you can follow along. So we're gonna start off with those mountain climbers, four by four. So we're doing four regular mountain climbers, followed by four cross mountain climbers. And then we're just gonna alternate between the two within the 40 seconds. So we're gonna start off with the body weight version. Starting that plank position, driving our knees forward. One, two, three, four, two, one, two, three, four, cross. Focusing more on the lower core, a little bit of the obliques for the cross mountain climbers. Going at the, your pace that you can go with. And rest. Reach through crunches. Our back, heels in, arms straight. We're just gonna reach through between your legs as you crunch up. Okay. Try to breathe out as you crunch up, reaching forward. 
should be working that upper core. Body switches. We're gonna stay on our back. We're basically gonna raise our opposite limbs up. Okay, so opposite leg, opposite arm up, and switch. So now we're working both. Upper and lower core. If you want to increase the difficulty, keep those heels up in the air. Otherwise, you can keep it down. Side plank pull throughs. We're gonna start on our left side. So just like we did in the warm up, nicely stacked. We're gonna raise our hip up and we're gonna pull through with the arms. So up, reaching through, and so there is a little bit of rotation of work. Static side plank. So we're staying on the same side for those forty seconds. And then switch it over. Increase the difficulty by having your legs straight as well. Marches. So this one we are using the weights. So one side has to be heavier, one side is lighter. I'll start with the heavier weight on my right side. And we're just gonna raise one knee up at a time, hit level. Hopefully in about three seconds. And switch. Okay, the goal here is to keep that body upright, nice and straight. One side is wanna Want to drop down, especially on that heavier side. So, want to force yourself to stay upright and balance using the core. Working the balance here as well. with just some regular elevator planks.
your hips and side to side. This is still too hard for you. You can do these on your knees. Keep that core engaged. And top. All right, first round complete. Then the next three rounds we'll be using the equipment. So take a quick water break. We'll be using the Bozu. Where those mountain climbers? I want to create a little bit of an imbalance, forcing us to maintain the balance through it. Now, if you already find these seven exercises harder without equipment, you can just keep doing the workout without the equipment to start, especially if you're starting off. And once it gets a little easier, you can start adding in those weights to add that extra resistance, giving you that progressive overload. You need a single dumbbell for that. Thank you for redeeming that. In fact, we do lift on Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays on my channel. So check it out. Okay, reach throughs using the dumbbell. Body switches, so we're using two dumbbells. What? Right. So I'll be using 10 pounds for this. If you need a lighter one, no problem. Okay, so opposite. Since we are using weights. Take your time with these reps. If this is too hard on the shoulders, just get rid of those weights. Or try to find a lighter weight. And to make it harder, keep those heels up, shoulders off the floor. Pull through crunches, no, pull through side planks. I'll be using seven pounds for this. Okay, side plank, pull through, 
to it. Again, if it's too hard for your shoulders, just do it without the weight. as well. And if you can only do one round or two rounds or three rounds, totally fine. You gotta be able to start somewhere and work your way up. Fitness is a lifelong journey. All right, in balance marches, make sure to switch up those weights on the other side. Whoa. Okay. Now I know this might not look like it's tough, but once you got those weights in your hands, especially with a heavier side trying to pull you down, it gets hard. So just to show you, my left side is the heavier weight. If I don't use my core, I'm just dropping over to the left side. Last up is our foam roll-ups. That's what I like to call it. So there's two ways to do this. You can do a regular elevator on a foam roller, or you can do the roll-up. All right, so starting on a plank, coming down to my elbow, roll back up. Hard, just do the elevator on the road. Alright, 
So this time we're going to do it slow on the mount climbers. Adding that intensity. Slow. Really forcing you to work through that entire movement. Slow. Extra time in balance. Pause the core to work a lot more to stay stable. Three screws. Okay, heavy weight on the right side again. Whoa. 
finding that in balance. Flamingo! Alright, foam roll ups or elevators. Again, if you're still working on it, you can do it on your knees. Very similar to using the ab roller. Otherwise, knees off the floor. Core nice and tight. Push down with your toes. Easy one, but you need the hard one for less. It's time to hydrate! Thank you. All core. Thank you for the hydrate. But yeah, it really works for your core strength, stability. works the anti-rotation, anti-flexion, oh yeah. Also works out your arms a bit as well, your shoulders. We got one more round left to go. Core is feeling it. Again, heels 
up to make it harder. But if you're still working on it, you can keep those heels down and bring those dumbbells down. Flamingo now. Balanced March is now renamed to the Flamingo. Highest. <laughs> and 
I am sweating. I'm sweating quite a bit. Hey, fella. Hello, hello. What are those like? Yellow diddles? Gold diddles? How you doing? Palms forward. And straight overhead, full body stretch. Bring it down to the lat. Stretching along the sides. workouts on my Twitch and also post them on the YouTube so you can always go back and do the whole workout again. <laughs> 